What's up troopers, my name is Neon and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're talking about X Defiance. So recently they had just announced that they was going to have this server playtest from the 19th all the way to the 21st. I've been playing it and I want to give you guys the honest review. So before we get into the video troopers, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do. We get very close to 20,000 subscribers and of course leave a like as well. Thank you very much. If I do sound a little bit stuffy, I do apologize. I am still very sick. I'm trying my best to get better. So I would just say before we even talk about the game and all that, I'm just going to show the loadouts I have been going with. So this is the loadout I've been using for the m4a1 so feel free to copy the setup if you like and this is my entire loadout my most used one is actually the ac9 i've been having a lot of fun with this bad boy feel free to copy this setup if you're interested this is definitely my go-to weapon Okay, troopers, now let's just talk about how this game even started playing. When it actually did come out, because I was waiting, and it finally came out, and it didn't work for some reason. I had no clue why, but it wouldn't work on my own account. It was very weird. I had this issue before, and I think it's because I have a Ubisoft account where it's from the US, yet my console account was made in the UK. So I think there's like a little bit of a region issue, because I played on my wife's account, and there was no problem. That was kind of weird, so I've been playing this entire time on my wife's account. When it comes to the gunplay with this game, it's not too bad like the fissure recoil doesn't feel like it's overwhelming you can definitely stay quite consistent when it comes to recoil i don't think that's a big deal i think the weapon performance has definitely improved since the last time this game has been out as it doesn't feel as clunky and sticky as it did before it looks like aim assist has also been toned down but it's a really big plus i felt like the aim assist was too strong it was actually putting me off i had to lower it down the last time i played this so it looks like the aim assist has been decreased, so it feels even easier to kind of control the enemies. I don't like that super stickiness, like having something that was controlling for you, it completely puts me off, and I hate that. So I had to turn all of that stuff off. So thank goodness, in this time around, it's not as overpowered. That's an aim assist topic. I feel like you guys can have a debate in the comment section. When it comes to the movement, the movement it is really nice the way how it plays. Like you can definitely go wild. You can jump around. You can slide. You can do all the bunny hopping. Like if you really wanted to be an extreme sweaty player, this is the game for it because you can do all of that. When I was sliding and I was like, man, this sliding is just taking too long. But I realized that you can just jump and then you can just cancel that slide. So you could just bunny hop. So there's a lot of ways you can definitely do with the movement i do feel like though how the game does play and the movement itself it definitely feels like more of an older title like this game really feels more like a 2012 to 2014 type of game compared to something what is in the modern time of 2024 i don't know if that's just because the engine itself is just kind of outdated i really don't know but it doesn't feel like a modern game to me but that may be the reason why it plays like this because they want to have that IK type of game. The similarities of Call of Duty compared to this game, you can definitely see it. There's been a couple of modes like Escort. I've been playing that and that's been a lot of fun. You're basically just pushing a robot to an objective or defending that area and don't let the enemies push to that objective. I think there was a similar mode like that for Overwatch, but it's a pretty cool mode to play. I've been enjoying that the most as you kind of know where the enemies are. And it doesn't feel like you're getting spawn trapped all the time either because the flow of the map is consistently changing because you're pushing around the robot i've been playing domination but domination doesn't really feel like i want to be playing that honestly there's times where if i get like some of the flags and we're on their spawn i feel like the gunfights can be quite consistent but honestly if it's kind of spread out it really does feel kind of quiet and it's just something not for me so i've been trying to avoid domination the best i can i've just been looking for them chaotic modes okay so now this is a big topic i want to talk about the ttk the TDK is something I kind of expected, but I also didn't expect it. So this is the weirdest thing about it, and maybe it's just taking me some time to get used to it, but I feel like the TDK is extremely overwhelming and a variety of TDK. And the reason why I said there's a variety of the TDK is because there's times where you can have a really quick gunfight, and then there's times you can have a very slow gunfight. But then it also consistently changes all the time as well, because if you hit someone and do a little bit of damage, they take cover, they instantly start healing. So if they go back into the gunfight they're gonna have more health than they already did before some of the specialists you can use in this game you could put up like a bubble shield you can't deal any damage to them but it can deal damage to you there's one specialist i've been using where you can actually increase your heals to like 200 hp 
where it's just completely wild. So I feel like when it comes to like the TDK, it's extremely inconsistent. And I feel like for me, that's probably my biggest pet peeve out of this entire game is the inconsistency of the TDK. You can have a really fast gunfight sometimes and then other times you just lose every time because they have just so much health. I feel like when you're having gunfights, you can kind of compete against two people and then sometimes you can't even win a 1v1 gunfight. So it doesn't feel as consistent with other games. Like myself, I'm a Battlefield player so I'm so used to having the same TDK gunfights. Of course that can change if you're using different weapons, but if you've been playing this game then you totally know what I'm talking about. But overall though, I feel like this game does have potential. It definitely looks like it has improved since the last time, okay. what is really nice to see. But this game has been delayed for quite a bit now, I think it's been like almost a year. Unfortunately no one knows when the real release date is, so we just have to wait until that happens. But overall this game definitely has potential, there's a couple of things I'm a bit negative about and hopefully they can change it, but for being a free to play game, I can't complain. I'm definitely looking forward for the game coming out. But yeah troopers, you tell me what you think about this game, do you enjoy it? Do you think it has potential and are you going to play it when it comes out? It's not going to cost you a single penny. It will be free to play. So you troopers let me know in the comment section what you think about all of this. Anyway, thank you very much for listening to me talk. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, be a part of the Pink Wigabi. And I'll see you on the battlefield.